Well, good morning everyone, Ian from DIY Home and Gardening. Last couple of days of March, so we're into spring now, which, uh, well, basically means a few pruning and propagation type jobs need to be undertaken. And this morning's job is tackling that shrub behind me, Cotinus. So, let's turn the camera around and have a little look. Now, first thing to say, excuse the fence, but it's to prevent the dog from digging everywhere. Now, this is Cotinus, smoke bush. This particular variety is called Ruby Glow. It's a relatively new variety. Um, I actually got given the plant uh, from uh, Hillier's, um, Hillier's Nurseries and it's been in the garden for about five years. So that means it's time to do something with it. Now, uh, what I will do is I'll include the link as to how um, the plant actually looks. So a video that I did last year, just showing it in its sort of magnificence, if you like. Um, but the thing with Cotinus is they fall into two pruning groups. A little bit unusually, but they do. Um, pruning group one, which is essentially you just do a little bit of remedial pruning. That is to say, prune out any obvious dead or dying wood, damaged wood, of which there isn't any because that's been done the last couple of years. Or we got the opposite, which is let me grab secateurs. Pruning group seven, which is basically pretty hardcore pruning. So that's the type of pruning that is associated when you do pollarding and coppicing. And that really is where you're pruning down the plant to a couple of foot above ground level. And the reason for doing that on something like a cotinus is to really well encourage some proper vigor to it and um, with the vigor comes bigger leaves so you can see previously where it's been pruned back and then we end up with these real big chunky stems and then subsequently you end up with the more spindly growth on other years now hard pruning is only done sort of every two to three years and you can do it on a rotational basis if you are thinking of doing some uh, sort of coppicing on something like a cornice, which is a dogwood. But for today's purpose, we're just gonna tackle the cotinus and show you what to do. So it all starts with these, nice clean sharp pair of secateurs. And got a pruning saw just in case, carefully maneuver myself into the bed. So, so we're looking at a couple of foot above ground level and make it easier just whip out any growth that's going to be in the way so that you can then do any pruning that needs to be done. Now the question is do we go that low? No I think we'll go to there. Oh, dog didn't like that. Still cut to an outward facing shoot.
Now, this looks really extreme, but don't worry, that will soon grow back. And with better vigour and purpose. Right, sorry about the noise from next door's dog, but that is how it's now looking. So you can see, properly butchered back, but don't worry, that will soon regrow and fill that entirety of space. Um, but you can see it's opened up the area nicely as well. Now, we're giving it a good old prune, and say so we're final week of March, so also a good idea just to give it a feed at the moment. So I'll, I'll just go and get that. So as I say, time for a good feed, and this is what I tend to use at the start of the season, fish blood and bone. Um, also use it in the uh, summer period. So just give it a break up to get rid of big old lumps. And you're kind of working on about a palm full per square meter or just chucked around the base like so and that is basically all the pruning done all the prep work done um, it's probably worth pointing out as well put a pair of gloves on if you're doing some of the pruning because uh, cotinus are quite sappy plants and it is uh, quite sticky as well so anyway job done and that's it done that's a super easy spring prune hard prune on cotinus to really promote that uh, new growth and extra vigor and bigger leaf sizing and flower formation which is what we want out of the cotinus so um, yeah ruby glow I'll stick the uh, the video on as I said that shows it in its uh, glory from last year um, if you've got any questions, please send them to me. I'll do my very best to answer them for you. If you like what I'm doing, then please subscribe to the channel. Don't forget to hit that reminder button so you don't miss out on the future videos I'm doing. And always say it, but it's so true. Just enjoy what you're doing, have fun. And when the weather permits, as it's seemingly doing this morning, get outside, have some fun and unwind. Till next time, bye for now.